Oh, the sound effect's literally called boop. <laughs> That's great. But they haven't changed that sound effect. Good day, folks. We are about to embark on a journey with the new Mac OS beta. Where's my mouse? There it is. So, Mac OS 10.16 Big Sur has been released. And unfortunately, that means that my old trusty 2012 iMac will not be getting it. Oh, well, that's fine because it's going to stay in Mojave anyway. But today, we're going to take advantage of the fact that I have a 2015 MacBook Air that can run the new beta. And we're going to install the beta because honestly, this computer doesn't get too much use. It's just my transportation computer that does things on the go. And of course, not, you know, anything serious. So we're going to go ahead and install this since it's already downloaded. The servers were bad. Like I had a download time that was going to take upwards of 10 hours at one point. So these servers were hard coded, like they're, they're bad. But hopefully since it's downloaded, it should just go. But let me see. Oh, we need to free up some space on the volume. Oh, that makes sense actually. Cause I've got um, iMovie, I've got this video file over here and I got a bunch of crap. So let me do that. And I will actually be right back. Cause I didn't realize I was that much out of space. So oops. Okay, the magic of having only 128 gigs of storage to store stuff on. We should hopefully now have enough space now that I've told photos to optimize the library because, again, not a real critical computer, so I don't care. So now we should have enough free space. Yes, we do. Perfect. All right. So let me authenticate on my Apple Watch because it's going to start doing that. So let me do that real quick. There we go. And we are off to the races. I don't expect this installer to be very eventful as per usual mac os installers they just sit on the apple logo and they have the progress bar and they tell you how much time is left which i'm expecting to be the case also because i don't think they would make that big of a change to the boot screen because you know it's a boot screen so who cares so if there's anything interesting between then i will pause the camera well, pause the camera i'll pause the camera now but i'll actually turn the camera back on and i'll show if there's anything unique but more than likely nah not really i'll just wait until we actually get into the operating system before I turn the camera back on, just to you know, make this short, sweet, and somewhat to the point. All right, well, we have just got to the lock screen of the new Mac OS, and I also just came back with a device to test iOS 14, you know, the old iPhone 6S. Not the best of shape, but hey, for the price, it's not too bad, and it's a 64 gig unlocked phone, so I will take it, except, you know, it's missing screws on the bottom. But anyways, we are digressing. So let me go ahead and uh, log in, and we'll see what's new other than the lock screen and the little tiny arrow of course we know that because i've signed into a new phone feedback assistant that makes sense that is obvious i'm going to accept that because i'm going to have to do that we're going to minimize that to the dock for now and go check out about this mac oh wow i like that logo that's really cool looking so uh, here we are on the beta it actually shows version 11 beta there which is weird because in mac os Catalina it shows 10.16 so they must be actually preparing to change this to say mac os 11 but anyways i digress so yeah everything else still looks pretty much the same oh they updated the little hard drive icon so that looks new otherwise um yeah basically everything else looks identical all right my fan controller actually still works even though it shows that i'm stuck at 74 degrees oh no it's updating it must still be starting up so Fair enough. It just got done with a major update, so I will let it have some space. There is the new dock and uh, all the icons there. Of course, not all of them have been updated yet. iMovie hasn't, uh, Discord hasn't, but a lot of these icons have been updated. They look really cool. I wish they put some of these in iOS 14 because I really like how they look. So I wonder how it looks inside of a launch pad here. Oh yeah, there's a lot of new icons. FaceTime, Messages, Maps, Find My... Why can't they just put some of this inside of iOS 14? I think, I don't know, I'm going to install it on this, we'll find out, but not to, not too sure about that. Now, of course, I'm not going to go in too crazy depth about this. Oh, they actually, they updated the chess icon. Well, how about that? They focused on the little things. Wow, look at all those icons. Those look so good. They really do look good. But anyways, I heard some new sound effects when I was playing around with the keyboard. I was cleaning this off a bit earlier, so I wanted to go into system preferences here. Oop, get out of software update. I don't want to do that right now. I like the way that the header panel looks. They just minimalized everything. That looks really nice. All those new icons. Wow. I'm kind of... I'm going to have to look at those later. Oh, the sound effect's literally called boop. <laughs> That's great. 
but they haven't changed that sound effect. But that's one of the new ones. And then there's Breeze. Mm. That's nice. I kind of like that. Got a nice notification sound. Got Bubble. Crystal. Oh, sounds like a bubble popping. Yeah. That's Crystal. This is like the first time they've ever actually updated the sound effects in Mac OS since its inception. Oh, jeez. In 2001. In which the sound effects, some of which were derived from the old Next Step, which went all the way back into the 1990s. So those sound effects were old. They were good sounding, but it was definitely due for some new sound effects. Anyways, I digress. Funky. That's all right. We got Heroin. We got Jump. Mezzo, got Pebble, got Pluck. Oh, they still have the old Susumi. Oh, they, they kind of modernized it, but still the OG is better. Sonar, Pong. Oh, the old uh, submarine or whatever it was. It's called Submerge now. God, that one goes way back to like Mac OS 9 even. Holy crap. Haven't heard that in a while. But uh, yeah, lots of stuff to go through regarding this. Um, I wonder what else, I know they updated the Finder. Let me go open up the Finder here. Make sure there's nothing personal on the screen here. I'm just gonna open up the Applications folder. Here we go. I haven't really heard too much about the Finder yet, but they definitely updated it. That much I know. They took out that big old forehead on the Finder and they kind of just Slim, slim. What was I gonna say there? Streamlined the user interface. There we go. Slimlined. Yep, definitely. Um, and of course, I'm gonna go over it again. Uh, new icons, because of course. New icon, who dis? Yeah, new icon, who dis? Interesting. That image capture one, that actually represents what you do. You know, camera. You got your, you got your gallery there. The little intricate details. I always appreciate that about Apple. They always focus on the little things. But I'm hoping that in the future, there's a lot more continuity between these icons because I know right now it's kind of a bit hit or miss because, you know, obviously it just came out and uh, a lot of the icons still take the old circle approach. Whereas now they look like they have the uh, rounded boxy look, which is nice. I mean, again, continuity that kind of represents the iOS look that they've been trying to move towards, I guess. Same thing with the windows, they have a more rounded appearance and they all have more of a fluent interface. Let's open up music since I believe that was updated. We'll take a look at that here. Yeah, it has more of that same user interface uh, with the looks. It doesn't really look to have changed too much from Catalina. Oh, and it crashed. <laughs> this is a beta. Take it for what you will. Things are not working very good, but <laughs> we'll see how many of these we can install. Hopefully it doesn't crash because, you know, this is beta one. So take it with a grain of salt. Um, let's look at the App Store actually, because I want to see how that looks. One thing I've noticed, the pop-ups look a little bit different. They're not like sheets coming from the bottom or the top of the window, rather. They're actually like little pop-ups now, and they have a new animation when they fly out. That it looks so much better. Not to say that the old ones didn't look, you know, they didn't look bad. Oh, there's a nice debug. Oh, that was from the music app. Okay, never mind then. I'm going to submit that because, again, I'm beta testing, so that's definitely something they need to have. Hey. Remember, don't turn on debug mode. Yeah, don't turn on debug <laughs> mode. <laughs> That's the thing we learned from our class. But honestly, I'm surprised at how easy that was. That was actually not bad at all. It just installed and we're off to the races. So yeah, I'm really gonna enjoy this. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's gonna be really unstable because, you know, beta one. But yeah, I really like it so far. So if you guys wanna see more of an in-depth look at macOS Big Sur in its beta one form, let me know down below in the comments. This is just kind of like a first impressions video sort of thing of me taking a look at the operating system, but I can try my best to do an overview of the features inside of the new version if you guys would like me to. I know I don't have the fanciest machine here, like I see, you know, 2015 MacBook Air. It's not the fanciest, but it gets the job done. But yeah, let me know down below in the comments if that was something we would like to have me do. With that having been said, if you liked this video for what it was, click thumbs up. If you didn't like it so much because, you know, I'm using Apple products, click the thumbs down button. If you want to see more content just like this one or perhaps more interesting content, there'll be a red button down below that says subscribe. I would highly recommend you click on it as well as the bell so you don't miss whenever I upload a new video because, of course, he approves. <laughs> yeah. And with that having been said, thank you all so much for watching. Catch you all in the next video.